Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I thought I would do a video to respond to Chuck's question on uh, Chuck from that Car Guy channel um, where he basically asked the community what inspires us to build a particular kit, uh, what inspires our builds and I know there are a lot of you have um, put videos up answering that question so I thought I would join in. So these aren't in any particular order as to what inspires me but uh, hopefully um, I will cover all of them. So the first one is uh, group builds, um, <clears throat> specifically um, a group build that uh, is for something that I wouldn't normally build but there is an interest. So for instance this is um, a build that I did 170 second scale Dragon Wagon from Academy and this was built as a result of um, Jeff, uh, Jeff's model garage, doing his annual um, big group group build. And Jeff uh, kindly allowed um, military vehicles. I don't tend to build um, trucks or cars, uh, and even though my uh, interest is military, um, I don't tend to uh, build like uh, what we call um, soft skin vehicles. So this was an opportunity for me to um, to build something that I wouldn't normally build, uh, and I'm really glad I did. It it, uh, it turned out really well, um, and it sits on my shelf, and I'm I'm really pleased with it. Um, I'll just show you another example of a group build where it's inspired me to build something. So some of you would have seen my entry into the small scale group build, and again um, I build 170 second, 176 day in day out. Uh, but I don't build um, many soft skin vehicles. So um, it's been run by Brian and Sean. Brian very kindly allowed me to do a military vehicle. Um, when I explained that it would only have wheels and no guns or anything like that, he said it was okay. And I uh, had this in the loft, so I've pulled it out to do. Now I've had this uh, set in the loft for possibly five years, I think. Um, it's been sitting there waiting for an opportunity or a reason to build it and so this group build has generated that. Um, so that's an example of um, why, how group builds generate an interest um, in me building a particular kit. There will be an overlap with some of these and I'm trying to keep specific things to start off with and then we will see the overlap of uh, some of the interests. Okay so the next one is film, TV and possibly YouTube. Um, so I recently um, started a series called Name That Film and what the intention was was to do a small diorama um, that represents a part of the film and then ask you guys if you could recognise what film it was and I've only done two at the moment but the first one that's there on the left was a diorama from um, representing bed knobs and broomsticks where Mr Brown, Professor Emilius Brown turns himself into a rabbit to uh, get away from the uh, Germans um, and the, the one on the right is um, an airfix kit, <coughs> the K2 ambulance I think it is and that diorama represents a British war film called Ice Cold in Alex um, which was about um, getting away from the Germans and getting to Alexandria I think it was. So film can inspire me to do builds. Um, of built um, Star Wars, a couple of Star Wars kits in the past. I built the um, uh, Back to the Future DeLorean as well. Uh, that's um, another uh, kit that was, it, <coughs> it was part of a group build. This is where we gain the overlap. Part of a group build, I think Chris at Classic Plastic used to do um, film and TV um, GB every year. And uh, I ent so I did the DeLorean as part of that. But of course, I was inspired to build it because I'd seen the film, and so yeah. Um, sometimes a YouTube can generate an interest in building something, but I will be specific about that in a bit. Okay, something else that inspires me is a particular interest in a vehicle. Um, now I know that Benny um, likes his Fords. Um, I've tried to say that in a straight face because I'm, I'm going to get absolutely hammered for saying that and I know that Fred likes his Mopar and um, so 
I like the Churchill tank um, and so I will build um, these kits quite readily because I'm happy to have another one on my shelf. I've only got four at the moment. I did have six at one stage but um, um, two of them are no longer with me. Uh, but I will endeavour to get more Churchills at this scale. This is 176, 172. This particular tank um, from Italeri is 172. These are all 176. These are two Hasegawa Churchills and this is um, the Airfix Churchill. So, so there's a particular vehicle that uh, inspires me to build the models of it. Uh, so there's that. Oh, the other, sorry, the, the other um, model that uh, inspires me to build it would be the Airfix P51D, um, either the Korean War One or the World War Two, because I think that's just a beautiful kit, really like that. I've built about 15 of those over the years um, with different nose arts representing different pilots. Um, uh, so there's that. So another thing that inspires me is, believe it or not, a kit manufacturer. So the kit on the left is a Chaffee um, 176 scale from Matchbox and the one on the right is um, a Cromwell from Airfix 176 scale. And these two companies, Airfix and Matchbox, um, I just love their kits and so I will happily build their kits. Um, there is another overlap coming in on this one, but uh, I'll leave it at that for the moment. So I will reach for a matchbox kit to, because I enjoy building matchbox. Um, I'll give you an example of that. I built, I was building a swordfish kit. It was actually the Airfix one. It was the re recent um, Airfix swordfish and it was doing my fruit. It was, I just couldn't get it to, to close up the fuselage to close up because of the cage inside so I actually bin that got off eBay a matchbox swordfish and I built the matchbox swordfish because I knew that it would be just a lot of fun um, and it would go together and it, and it did so that's what I'm trying to say there there is you know sometimes as a, it, a ma the manufacturer will um, inspire me to, to build Okay, one of the big subjects that inspires me to build is obviously history. I know that Benny's covered that as well. And I'm sure there's a lot of, a lot of guys on their videos who say the same thing. So I am, um, I love military history. Going back to, you know, Roman and Greek times all the way to, I would have to say, possibly the Vietnam War. Um, beyond that, I'm not particularly interested. So there's two things, um, or actually three things uh, that I want to say about history. First thing is a period in history. So I'm talking about World War Two, World War One, Vietnam War, uh, Korean War, um, that that kind of thing. Even I've, I've got several um, biplane builds, which are all silver, and there was like the Silver Wing period, which is the interwar years between World War One and World War Two. Um, I really enjoyed building those kits because of that period. That inspired me. It ins that period inspired me to build those kits. So, so those are the periods that um, inspire me. And if we just drill that down a bit. I get inspired by events within those periods. So, for for instance, when I initiated, um, when I thought about doing the um, Pearl Harbor 80th anniversary group build. It's because I want um, I wanted to build something of, of that event that you know took place at that event, <clears throat> whether it was a ship, plane, or vehicle. Um, but at, on at that specific date, and uh, hence why um, Charlie's kindly taken over it for me. Um, I'm I'm doing this uh, P40, and I know a lot of other guys are because it's in the markings of a P-40 that was you know, present on Hawaii December the 7th, 1941. So, so I'm interested in the period, I'm interested in the specific event. One final thing about history uh, is personal history. Um, I know that a lot of you car guys will, will build cars that you, you, your dad's had or your, your uncle's had or your mum or whatever. Um, 
I'm not into cars, I've got to admit. Um, and it would, I think it's a bit more difficult for UK guys because there aren't any um, manufacturers out there who are just doing uh, plastic kits of, say for instance, um, uh, what car did my dad have? Ford Cortina, I think it was one. Um, he had the Ilman Minx, the, the first one that was made, and then he had the Ilman Minx Estate, which, so I think one was from the 60s and then later on, 70s, 80s, there was the Ilman Minx Estate um, that he had. Um, he, he drove a Karma van, he had a Mini Clubman. Um, <clears throat> so, a bit more difficult, but um, from a personal history, obviously there's the nostalgia behind the, the the builds that I do I keep banging on about nostalgia that's why I do the Matchbox Mondays the nostalgia as a kid building these models back in the day and they're being repopped by um, Revel <clears throat> which is great and, we, and I can enjoy them all over again um, also I've re I have done a figure of my granddad in 135th scale um, in a uniform representing his service during the Burma campaign um, he was with the Royal Army Service Corps and he was a lorry driver and there's been a bit of a banter about um, Fred Henry who I think was a pilot in Burma um, piloting the um, like Dakota or something like that and whether my granddad turned up to get his truck loaded and then off to do um, to various parts to, to d distribute it so that's the history side of things a very big part for me um, even if it's the broader uh, period in time, um, most of my builds, because they're military, will be covering covering a certain period. So I was talking about the overlap that uh, can happen, and this is um, a very good example. This was uh, <coughs> created because of a group build that um, Greg Riley was running, and basically it was um, T34 group build. All you had to do was build a T34. So as soon as I saw that the group build was um, going to happen, I thought, yes, uh, I'd like to be involved with that. Because, and because I had a Matchbox T34. So it ticked two boxes. It was a group build. It was a build. It was something about um, a kit that I'd got, um, especially as it was a Matchbox. And then the third thing was that I'd not long before seen a YouTube video of some guys in the Ukraine or somewhere in the um, in the old USSR recovering a T-34 and he'd, they actually pulled it out of the swamp and it was actually on its, uh, on its back like this so immediately that inspired me to create this diorama with the Matchbox kit for this GB so that's where the, the overlap comes in and um, as I say I think um, there's a couple of other um, things I could have shown where you've got this overlap of um, various things to inspire you. So that's basically it I think guys. I don't tend to get inspired by other people's builds. Uh, Benny said this as well. Um, don't get me wrong, I appreciate and you know the, the, the builds that they've done. Um, you know it's a cracking build it looks wonderful but it doesn't it doesn't very often inspire me to go out and build a similar thing there isn't much another um again I've, I've watched benny's video so i'll keep referring to him he mentioned that it's all around the inspiration is all around for me that's not strictly true be, um yes it, you know obviously watching tv um and reading history but because I'm not a car builder, I feel I could be wrong. Um, it, it's you know there isn't going to be something that's suddenly going to jump out at me whilst walking around the streets. If I see if I see um, Trans Am or something driving down the road, I'll say that's a gorgeous looking car, but it won't inspire me to build it because it's just not my my thing. So I think for car builders, absolutely, I, you know I can agree with that. Um, but not so much myself. Anyway, um, time's ticking. I hope uh, that was interesting to some of you. 
thanks ever so much for watching uh, really enjoying watching your videos I'm getting back into it um, as you can see the P40's um, come on a bit um, so hopefully I'll be getting back into the swing of uh, making models look after yourselves I've got two of my family with Covid at the moment um, no there's no um, drama we're double vaccinated and we've got the booster as well so it's just my wife's got like a, a flu and my son's going down with it today and so we'll see where, where he takes him and um, <clears throat> as I've got no worries about either of them it's, it's all fine you know we're good and um, how I'm managing to avoid it I don't know because I'm like a sponge with these things I usually pick them up as they as soon as they arrive so Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll catch up with you soon.